Hi friends, happy Friday. Welcome to another uh, devotional this week. Um, here we are and I don't know about you, but it feels like it was a long time ago that we were locked up in our houses. And that time that we had in quarantine or self-isolation, however you want to put it, uh, seems like a really long time ago. And I've been really uh, challenged this week to to do something that I think is good for all of us to do. And it's even um, something that I want to read about from the book of Deuteronomy. In, in chapter 8 of Deuteronomy, uh, verse 2, it says, Remember that the Lord your God led you on the entire journey these 40 years in the wilderness, so that he might humble you and test you to know what was in your heart, whether or not you would keep his commands. He humbled you by letting you go hungry. Then he gave you manna to eat, which you and your fathers had not known, so that you might learn that man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. And so what I, what I have felt the stirring in my heart this week to really do, and what I'm inviting you to maybe even consider for yourself, is to remember. Remember what um, that time... Uh, where we were, were spending most of our time in our homes with our families. Remember what it was like, and also remember what God did, what he did in that time, but also what he has done since then um, because of that time we had. And maybe that time wasn't very settling for you. Maybe it was a little bit disheartening and you were, you were really struggling because that's, that's understandable as well. Um, and so maybe that looking back at that time is too fresh, it's too raw still, and that's understandable completely. But maybe there's another time in your life that God is calling you to remember, to look back on the years past and remember his faithfulness, remember his goodness, and remember how he walked with you through hard things. And I just, I see that we are coming out of this, uh, while we're still in the middle of COVID stuff, uh, we are out of that time of more heightened restrictions and I don't know about you but in my life I feel like there was something that was done uh, extra special I feel like in that time I, I learned things about Jesus and I learned things about walking with him that I had never had before and so I see that now that we are back into more of a rhythm more of a I don't want to say rush because it's not a rush but there are more schedules more things pulling in our time and our attention like almost like they were before that time but i feel like i need to pause and reflect and remember those moments that i had with jesus on those days when there was no rushing out of the house no running out the door no rushing to get kids and people everywhere but to remember what those moments taught me and even the hard moments during the COVID isolation, what they taught me. And to remember and not forget, but and also to hang on to those, those lessons and those, those things that I learned. And much like the Israelites of, of Moses' day, the entire book of De Deuteronomy is really uh, Moses calling the people to remember. Remember what God had done. Remember that they were once slaves, but God called them out of Egypt. Remember that they had been hungry and, and thirsty and at various different times that God had provided abundantly for them. And if you have read any of the book of De Deuteronomy or even the, the other books of the law there where it talks about the Israelites wandering in the desert, desert, they were very short. They had a very short memory. It's almost like they, like they suffered from short-term memory loss or even long-term memory loss because they often would forget almost very quickly, sometimes days, weeks, that it would just be gone what God had done. And even you think about the plagues of Israel, they forgot the power of God even by the time they got to the Red Sea. Like it had been not hardly any time at all that he had, he had sent these plagues and he had, he had protected them as the angel of death passed over, but they forgot when they got to the Red Sea and they started panicking. And I think we can be so often so guilty of that in forgetting what has happened behind us and, and not allowing those things to really take hold and take root in our life. And so that is what I'm challenging us today. I'm, I'm being challenged right there with you because it can get so easy to be caught up in the things now that are, you know, we're, we're so thrilled that we can do more things, that we can go more places, that we can go a little bit more freely and move freely. Um, but there's still that pause that we need to have and remember 
what God has taught us and not forget the things that he spoke to us in those moments that maybe were hard or maybe they were breakthrough moments or like I said, maybe it wasn't even just this most recent time, but maybe it was things in the past that he has taught you that he is calling you to remember. And so I invite you today, uh, maybe even if you want to read the book of Deuteronomy, it's, it's one of my favorite books. I know it's kind of daunting for some people, but one of my favorite places to read because it's just so incredibly powerful to watch how God moved and to rem and to almost recall with the Israelites what he has done in their lives and and to realize that he's still the same God he's still the same God moving and shaping and working in ways that we aren't always taking cognitive pause to to notice and so I invite you today and this week ahead uh, just to be able to pause and remember that word remember is is so vital and so important so i would love to hear if there's anything he's calling you to remember and so if you would love to reach out and share it with me, i would just it would be awesome to be able to share it together so uh, god bless and have a wonderful day